Ladies and gentlemen, keep the noise happening for Savad right here, right now. Right there. When I regained consciousness, I recognized my mom, dad, and a few friends standing over me, looking concerned. Someone asked, Savad, are you okay? I didn't answer. I did, however, have one question on my mind. You see, 12 years, I was 12 years old and my birthday had just passed and I received a new BMX bike. It was royal blue. It had gold decals, hand brakes, and multi-spoke wheels. I pictured that with the right pilot aboard, that bike could probably jump over the school up the street. <laughs> and I'm sure that wild imagination is what caused me to challenge my friends to a jumping contest. Now the ante got up when one of them suggested jumping over a large bush that for some odd reason was planted in the middle of his front lawn. Okay, challenge accepted. The following Saturday, five young daredevils assembled, ready to take flight. And the day was perfect. The ramp was constructed of the finest components. <laughs> we had two car ramps placed side by side with a couple of milk crates on top of that. We had a slightly warped piece of plywood and a few bricks at the base to keep it all anchored. I'm pretty sure Hollywood stuntmen were using the same materials back then. We rolled up to the starting spot and the first kid takes off for the ramp. He jumps but goes off center and lands at the right just clipping the bush. When the second kid takes off, he decides to abort his mission before even reaching the ramp. The third contestant goes and actually clears the bush. But when he lands, both of his feet slip off the pedals. He nut crunches on that middle bar <laughs> so hard, lets out a blood curdling scream and instantly becomes a spectator for the rest of the event. <laughs> we laughed at him too. The fourth jumper goes clears the bush easily and lands perfectly on the other side. But he can't stop fast enough and slams into a car in the driveway next door. <laughs> Amateurs. <laughs> Last but not least is moi. My parents are out front now and the rest of the kids are parked and waiting. I'm in the zone. I picture a jump so epic that it should be on the front of a Wheaties cereal box. <laughs> I decided to build anticipation by going through a series of poses. And I end it all with the double biceps. I rock it off from two houses away in the middle of the street. Pedaling as fast as I can, I whip into the driveway, headed straight for the ramp. Perhaps a little too fast because my right foot slips from the pedal and the bike wobbles. But I recovered. I recovered just in time to hit the ramp. And it shifts. I tried to save it by pulling the front wheel up, but it clipped something and, oh shit, here we go. <laughs> My bike is leaving me, the grass is above me, and the sky is beneath me. How can this be? But then the grass and the sky switch back, and I violently splat, and everything goes black. But I regained consciousness, and my mom, dad, and friends are standing over me. I'm laid out flat, probably similar to a murder scene body sketch or something. <laughs> they ask if I'm okay, and I don't answer. But I did have that one question on my mind. Hey, how's my bike? <laughs> my dad nods and signals okay. My mom throws her arms up and walks away. My friends are all laughing at me, but I learned three lessons that day. Lesson number one, if you're gonna jump some bush, <laughs> don't prematurely celebrate. <laughs> Save it for a perfect dismount. Lesson two, 
Speed is nothing without control. <laughs> when you're riding, stay super focused and maintain your rhythm. <laughs> and three, if you're performing any physical feat and happen to black out and then wake up surrounded by your friends and parents, always, and I mean always, check your equipment first. <laughs> Thank you.